What the hell are we all waiting for? Start attacking life. For the stars to align. Well, guess what? That miracle ain't coming. There is no perfect time to start. You gotta start now with changing your life. We're all being tested in life. And guess what? This is one test you can't cheat on. We all have our own test. Some of us are obese. Some of us are depressed. Some of us are insecure. You have to gear just to deal with the life. And the only way to overcome it is for you and you alone to face it. I believe that everybody has a gift. Every single human out there listening right now, you have a gift. The thing that you have working against you is you have all these other people now. Is that by doing this, you are actually keeping yourself from becoming great. Because the most that you could ever be when you do these things is a watered down, lesser version of what someone else is doing, all right? And how do you know that your own style and your own way of doing things that you would develop little by little by little if you would just take little risks, is it gonna be greater than all of those things that you watch? The best work when you're at least motivated. So those days you don't wanna do it, guess what you gotta do? You gotta suck the fuck up and do it. Stay hard. One of the things you have to understand about life is everything changes and everything ends. And that kind of sounds heavy on the front end, but it's a truth. If everything changes and everything ends, number one, it should make you appreciate what you have right now. And then my view is what's next is always better. If I make it so, it's my job to make it so. I think passion is the genesis of genius. If you've got enough passion, you're gonna find answers nobody else does, but most people run out of fuel, meaning they get tired, they get exhausted, they get burnt out, they get, you know, the law of familiarity. They're around something so much, they take it a little bit for granted. What I see is the one common denominator of people that are successful over a lifetime is the sustained hunger. Hunger is the number one factor. The secret of every winner Winning in sports, winning financially, spiritually, or any other way. The secret of every single winner is one word. It is the word resilience. Resilience. It is the ability to bounce back. Why? Because everybody goes through tough times. Everybody has failures. Everybody has flops. Nobody goes through life with unbroken success. Nobody goes through life with no problems. Nobody goes through life with it just a breeze and everything's handed to them. There are problems, pains, pressures, difficulties in everybody's life. And the difference between winners and losers is that winners get back up. I do think that that means that the soul participates in something eternal, which is the attempt of being itself to transform what's unnecessarily painful and malevolent into what's good, and that human beings actually do participate in that, and that that's part of the reason that our ancient tradition insists that we're made in the image of God. I don't think that you can live life a life of sufficient profundity to protect yourself from being corrupted by suffering and malevolence without adopting a responsibility that's commensurate with that set of ideas. I think that you either orient yourself upward, you know, to the star above the horizon and try desperately to improve the structure of being 
or you work at counter purposes to it and make things worse. I don't think there's a middle ground. Almost like we're in a trance, like we're sleepwalking through life, that we find ways to cancel out our dreams. And I think that but is a dream killer. That a lot of things that we want to do, a lot of places we would like to go, a lot of things we would like to experience, and we just stop at but. You cannot be great being a lesser version of what already exists. You can only be great when you execute against your own potential and do your own development. And that means getting up there and looking like a clown. If you want to be great, if you want to be one of the best that's ever fucking lived at what you do, you have to understand that it's about developing our own skills. It's about developing our own styles. It's about developing our own swagger. It's about developing our own selves. You should pursue your gift. The Bible says your gift will make room for you. Always something there to build a case on why you can't move on, why you can't grow to the next level, why you can't begin to manifest your greatness, why you can't begin to live life on your terms. Always something there to block you, to keep you where you are and keep you from beginning to develop your true greatness. Always some fear. How do we handle it? And I'm saying that if you've been hiding out behind but, if you've been using the fact that you don't have enough money or you don't have the education, take it head on, don't get the education.